Hello, this is Kyle from Bywater Solutions, and today I am going to show you the new multiple holds per record feature available in Koha 16.11 and later. So, the first thing we need to do is go to the circulation rules. That's where we control how many holds can be placed per patron per record. And you see, I have a single rule just to keep this simple and you can see my holds per record. So the default number of holds per record is one which retains the previous functionality where each patron could only have one and only one hold on a given record. So if I go and find a record and place a hold for a patron. I can do that as normal. If I try to place a second hold for that patron, I'm going to get an error. Too many holds. I can only place one hold on this record. So let's go ahead and back up. I'm going to delete this hold. And I am going to change this number from one hold per record to three. And I'm going to start again. All right, so here I am. You can see I actually have a holds to place selector, which lets me pick up to the number of holds that I am allowed by the rules. So I can choose, to, let's go ahead and we'll place two holds right now. So now I have two holds. And if I try to place another hold, you can see something. You see this? I can no longer place an item level hold because I have record level holds. With this system, based on what the first hold was, whether it was item level or record level, all future holds by that patron during this period of time have to be the same. So if I have placed a record level hold and I need to place two more holds, as long as that first record level hold exists, the next two holds will also have to be record level. If that first hold was item level, then the next two holds will also need to be item level. And of course, you can only place a single hold per item. You can't place two holds for the exact same item because that wouldn't make sense. Uh, a good case for uh, item level holds in this is uh, a record like uh, World Book Encyclopedia, where perhaps you've cataloged each volume A through Z um, as items under a single record. So you would want your patron to be able to select which volume they want to place the hold on. And maybe you want them to be able to do more than one hold for that type of record. And that's one of the great things about having the circulation rules is you can control how many holds per patron can be, be on each item type. So, you, let's go ahead and complete that hold. You can see I can still place a hold, and now if I try to place a fourth hold, I should not be allowed, and I am not. You can see maximum of three holds on this record. So let's go back here, and we will go ahead and delete these holds. Now, right now, this record only has one item, so I am going to go ahead and create a few more items. Let's go ahead and I will add four more copies. Starting with barcode one. Really don't need too much data for this demonstration. And you can see now, I have five, one, two, three, four, five items in total. 
So if we go back to the holds, and I am going to start this again, this time I am going to place a hold for a specific item. So I will go with barcode one. And you can see it there. So now I'm going to go ahead and place another hold. And you can see barcode one cannot be held because I already have a hold on it. So I can go ahead and do barcode three. And once again, I can't place an item level hold on those things that already have one. And I cannot place a record level hold because I already have item level holds. So I will place another item level hold. And just so we see again, if I try to place a fourth one, I cannot because I can only do three holds for this record. So let's go ahead and clear these holds out and let's see what this looks like from the OPAC side. So I am logged in to the OPAC and I'm going to search for that same record that we were using previously. And here it is. And you can see we still have those five items that we were working with on the staff side. So if I go ahead and choose place hold, by default, it just assumes that I want a record level hold. So I'll go ahead and hit confirm hold. And there you see my first one. So if I go ahead and choose to place a hold again, it looks pretty much the same. And I can do that one more time. This time I will show you there is no option to choose an item level hold. So I will go ahead and do that again. And now I'm going to cancel these three holds. So let's take a look at what we have when we're back to having no holds on this record. You can see now I do have the choice between record level and item specific. So if I select an item specific hold now, I'll go ahead and choose barcode 4. Alright, so now if we go back here, and let's go ahead and place another hold. And you'll see this time that we are forced to choose an item level hold. Because our first hold was item level, the record level hold option is no longer available. So let's go ahead and choose barcode 3. We have two holds now. And we can place one more. And after that, we should not be allowed to place any more holds. And that is exactly what we see. I hope this has been helpful and informative.